Once upon a time, in a tranquil village inn nestled amidst picturesque hills, there lived a Zen master named Kazuki. He was renowned for his wisdom and his ability to impart profound teachings through captivating stories. One sunny afternoon, a group of eager disciples gathered at his modest, bamboo-lined hut, eager to learn about the various types of rich mindsets that can lead one towards true wealth. Chapter 1 The Wealth of Awareness Kazuki began his tale with the story of a young farmer named Hiroshi. Hiroshi toiled day in and day out, working his land with unwavering dedication. But what set Hiroshi apart was his keen awareness of the rhythms of nature. He observed the changing seasons, the dance of sunlight on leaves, and the songs of birds. Hiroshi's wealth lay in his profound connection to the world around him. Kazuki emphasized that the wealth of awareness allows one to appreciate the beauty and richness of each moment. Chapter 2 The Wealth of Resilience Next Kazuki spoke of a skilled potter named Mei. Mei crafted exquisite pottery, but not every piece emerged from the kiln unscathed. She faced disappointment and failure, yet she persisted with grace. Mei's wealth, Kazuki explained, was her resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks, stronger and wiser. This mindset of resilience, he said, was a wealth that could weather life storms. Chapter 3 The Wealth of Gratitude Kazuki then shared the tale of a humble fisherman named Takashi. Takashi cast his net into the river each day, never taking the abundance of the river for granted. He offered thanks for each catch, whether bountiful or meager. Takeshi's wealth, Kazuki noted, was his deep gratitude. This mindset of gratitude, he explained, allowed one to find richness in the simplest of things. Chapter for the Wealth of Purpose In the heart of the village, there lived a wise teacher named Sora. Sora had dedicated her life to educating the children of the village, nurturing their potential. She believed that purpose was the most valuable treasure one could possess. Kazuki observed that Sora's wealth was her sense of purpose, the driving force behind her actions. This mindset of purpose, he said, was a wealth that gave life meaning. Chapter 5 The Wealth of Generosity Kazuki's teachings then led him to a merchant named Akira. Akira had amassed wealth through his thriving trade, but what set him apart was his unwavering generosity. He shared his resources with those in need, knowing that true wealth was not in hoarding but in giving. Akira's wealth, Kazuki emphasized, was his generosity, a mindset that enriched both giver and receiver. Chapter 6 The Wealth of Adaptability as Kazuki ventured deeper into the forest, he encountered a wise old tree named Ichiro. Through countless seasons, Ichiro had weathered storms and welcomed sunshine. The tree's strength lay in its adaptability, its ability to bend without breaking. Kazuki explained that the wealth of adaptability allowed one to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Chapter 7 The Wealth of Compassion Returning to the village, Kazuki met a healer named Yumi. Yumi's hands possessed the power to heal wounds and soothe suffering, and her heart overflowed with compassion for all living beings. Kazuki recognized that Yumi's wealth was her boundless compassion, a mindset that enriched not just her own life, but the lives of all she touched. Chapter 8 The Wealth of Knowledge In the village library, Kazuki found a scholar named Daichi. Daichi had dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge, believing that wisdom was the most valuable currency. Kazuki observed that Daichi's wealth was his vast knowledge, a mindset that allowed him to navigate the world with insight and understanding. Chapter 9 The Wealth of Joy In a bustling market square, Kazuki encountered a joyful street performer named Maiko. Maiko danced sang and brought smiles to the faces of all who watched. Her wealth, Kazuki realized, was her boundless joy, a mindset that could turn even 
the simplest of moments into a celebration. Chapter 10 The Wealth of Self-Reflection Kazuki concluded his teachings with a tale of a wise, elder named Zenzo. Zenzo had lived a long and fulfilling life, and his wealth was not counted in gold, but in self-reflection. He possessed a deep understanding of himself and the world around him, a mindset that allowed him to find richness in the depths of his own consciousness. As Kazuki's disciples absorbed these teachings, they understood that true wealth was not solely about material possessions. Each of these rich mindsets awareness, resilience, gratitude, Purpose Generosity Adaptability Compassion Knowledge Joy and Self-Reflection Had the power to bring abundance, fulfillment, and a profound sense of richness to one's life. The disciples left Kazuki's hut with a newfound appreciation for the various paths to true wealth and the understanding that wealth, in its purest sense, was not about accumulating riches, but about cultivating a mindset that could enrich every aspect of their existence for loves and support please like this video and subscribe our youtube channel